In this manufacturing town in southern China, factories stand idle, roads are empty, and workers fret about their jobs. This man says his wages have dropped roughly by a third, from $150 a month. I cannot continue working like this, he says. It's not even enough to pay for my food. Growing discontent among laborers is creating a headache for China's policymakers. Only a year ago, the government introduced new laws to protect workers' rights as part of its campaign to prioritize human welfare after decades of speedy industrial growth. Now, activists say the global economic crisis is threatening to derail those efforts. The uh, bosses are running away and the factories are closed and uh, the workers are not getting their last two or three months salary. So that is, uh, to the government, it's not a nice scene. The new rules, a milestone for the nation's workers, had aimed to improve job security. The laws made it tougher for bosses to dismiss staff and required companies to offer better pay and bigger severance. Manufacturers complained the regulations added to their already rising expenses. Thousands of factories went bust. The slowing world economy made matters worse. China's going to experience its first capitalist economic cycle. Uh, just as the rest of the world is experiencing its uh, next capitalist economic cycle. And I'm afraid that makes it an awful lot more vulnerable than at any time in the, the past 50 years. To lighten the financial burden on manufacturers, officials are easing up on some rules, like allowing wage freezes. But activists fear authorities could go too far and risk undermining the nation's nascent rule of law as business leaders lobby to suspend the regulations. Because the rights being violated, obviously, the government's um, legitimacy is being damaged. Legitimacy China needs to maintain social order at an unprecedented time of economic uncertainty.